Hey everybody, welcome back to Huffler Garage. Uh, today we're working on our 99 Jeep Wrangler again. We're having issues with the vehicle not reaching its regular engine temperature, so we believe the thermostat is stuck in the open position. So we went to O'Reilly's, we've got a new thermostat to put on it. Uh, to do this job, we're gonna need a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. We're also gonna need a 13 and 15 millimeter socket wrench. You'll want a uh, some kind of draining pan just so you can catch any coolant that might come out whenever we're taking the hoses off and then you will also want to have a little bit of extra coolant. I got the already pre-diluted stuff so we don't have to mess with mixing it. Okay so to get started in order to get to this bottom bolt right here we will have to take the belt off. In order to do that on this particular model of Jeep uh, it has a belt a manual belt tensioner basically we're going to have to loosen the bolt on the pulley right here and then we're going to loosen this one up until the belt's loose enough to slide off there for that you'll actually need a 15 millimeter for both it helps if you have some extensions we're not going to bother with it because it is possible to take off without them A little bit further. All right, and that'll get that out of the way just for that one bolt that we have to access on the bottom here. All right, so we've got our belt moved out of the way. Uh, you can either take it completely off as long as you have it kind of out of the way of where you're working because if you even get a drop of coolant on that thing, it will probably not stop squeaking for the rest of your life. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and start working on the getting the bolts out. There's just two bolts, both 13 millimeter. Uh, we'll start with our ratcheting wrench and take the top one off and then we'll use our 13 inch socket to get the bottom one out. Oops. Yeah. And as mentioned before, we already have our uh, drip pan underneath just for anything that actually comes out. Small extension would have probably made that a tad bit easier. But it should work just fine. And I'll set both those aside. Alright, now this bit should just pry right off and as you can see we're already dripping a tad bit. And we'll move that over. 
and oh and some just got on the bottom belt so <laughs> on the bottom part of the belt so that'll be lovely when we get that back on so a little bit of a tip from before don't do as we do and remove remove the belt entirely instead of just draping it to the side I don't remember it draining this much the last time I did this. Probably doesn't help that we're on an angle facing down. I'm just gonna from there pull the thermostat out right there. It's a little bit stuck on. And oh yeah, it is definitely stuck open. It is wide open as you can probably see on there. And that would be the source of our engine not reaching its uh, regular temperature. So I'm just going to take uh, this razor blade here and we're going to try to gently remove the gasket here. And then we'll just put the new one on and get it off and get it put back together. Probably do easier if I just had the razor blade. I think I got it pretty good. Oh yeah. Get around on your side. I'm gonna make sure to get it off of both sides here. Hopefully without cutting myself. I think that's pretty well got it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the thermostat that I just pulled off of the Jeep. Um, it is just absolutely stuck wide open, so that's why the Jeep's temperature isn't properly regulating and it's staying uh, too cold, which is also affecting my heat working as well. This is the new one, and since it is well it's closed right now because the it's not heated up and that's how it's supposed to look when it's cool so if it looks like this you need a new one we looked at the uh, thermostat a little further and the reason that it was actually stuck open was because this one uh, that we had that was already on it it has a fail safe on it so if the engine gets too hot it will actually lock in the open position using these tabs right here um, the, you're not supposed to use it again once it has actually gotten locked open, but that does mean that the engine has at least gotten a little too hot at least one time. The one that we put it on it this time, it does not have that same fail safe on it, but that's the reason that this one was locked in the open position. All right, so we're ready to put this thing back together. Uh, before we get started, I'm just going to wipe down a small paper towel, the, uh, housing and then the main part on the engine block because the first thing we're going to be doing on this particular uh, gasket that we got this peels back and this will actually stick to the housing there so we're going to get it lined up here all right so the nice thing about having a wrangler here you can actually flip the hood all the way back if you need a little bit more space to work so i've got the little part peeled off of there and so this will stick right like that just line up the areas where the bolts at and it'll stick 
straight to it. Next thing we're going to do is take our thermostat and just put it straight in like that and it should stay pretty good there and then we will just put this back over and now we'll just put the bolts back in. going to bring up an interesting point here whenever we do Huffle Garage videos with the Jeep. I technically bring my Jeep over because I don't feel like fixing it <laughs> and I'd rather <laughs> let you guys do it and yet I'm always the one that ends up fixing it. Uh, let's see, Where am I doing that right? Yeah I am. You can take that audio and add it in there if you want. <laughs> All right, where's my socket wrench at? So I want to make sure I don't want to like to over tighten it but I also don't want it to be like leaking or anything because that would absolutely suck. <laughs> All right, so we got the Jeep put back together. Uh, hopefully everything runs well going forward on it. Um, if you do like this content or if you at least find it helpful, check out some of our other videos down below. And uh, like and subscribe and join us again for our next project.